In today's video, we're going to figure out this light fixture. There's a couple things you can do off the shelf. You could actually put a light fixture here and then run the chain over to the center of the table, drop it, and center it. Uh, currently, this light fixture is centered with the room, and we want it centered with the table. So after a few months, we've decided to build our own. And as you'll see through the process of this video, how we did it, let us know in the comments below, what do you think? So I had to redo my border. Um, I was using the track saw, the wind. And I found out last time, it's the same as this time, it doesn't cut straight. So it was about an eighth of an inch on each side. And in the middle, it was still three eighths. So I had to rip all uh, four of these boards back off. I cut them down and I moved them. And now we're about um, an eighth of an inch all the way around um, I had them a little bit wider I had them at 3 8 so I could put a screw in the middle and into the ceiling to hold it um, I was gonna also put into joists through the ceiling but uh, my wife didn't like how how much of a gap that showed um, I'll show you how it looks now this is how I'm gonna do it so if you see if you see here it's gonna be a lot smaller gap an eighth inch last time was three eighths a little bit i mean it looked a little bulky and she was right so we moved it we moved it in that's how it's going to look on the ceiling i'm going to end up uh mitering these make a picture frame all the way around um, we are still waiting on our lights um, i also bought leather punches so uh you'll see me do it but i'm going to punch holes in the canvas to run our lights through and it should turn out really nice um, for my joints I just put a little uh, wood filler in there we still haven't decided if we're painting this white or black um, but the outside the picture frame I think we've decided we're gonna stain it a really light color this is pine I was gonna go for poplar but I mean the pine boards looked 
pretty nice. So we just saved ourselves about uh, five dollars a board, and we stuck with pine. But I think it's looking good so far. Um, I didn't, really didn't talk about this canvas painting much. Uh, we got this at Home Goods, I think it was on sale. Um, we like the uh, the design of it. You saw us paint over it. Um, the color was okay, but I don't think it really went for our um, the style upstairs in our kitchen. So we went just a white, one coat of white, so you kind of see it bleeding through. And then hit it, you saw me hit it with the gold spray paint. And we'll see how it looks once the lights are in. Um, the lights that are coming in are black. I think it's the eight, I have eight lights. You'll see what it looks like, but I think what we're gonna end up doing is painting the, uh, the wires for the lights gold as well. And we'll see how that turns out. But uh, so far, this uh, painting was $100, and I think I'm like $28 in the wood. So we'll just keep pushing through.
light is complete. Let's go over uh, the cost real quick. The canvas, I believe we got at Home Goods. It was $100. The eight uh, lights, which is like spider lights, uh, we got those from Amazon. That was a uh, $33. These LED light bulbs, we got those from Walmart. They were $40. Um, the wood, the trim pieces I did around, those are one by threes and it's all pine. Got those from Lowe's, it was around $25. And then I did paint and stain as miscellaneous as $10. So all together, we're in this light for $208 which I think is a pretty good deal for me not having to cut a hole in the ceiling and then mess up a patch job. But it's centered with the table really well. We were contemplating for a while to put shades. Um, we were going to get glass ball shades with the little bubbles in them. But because of the way this light fixture is, I would have had to buy an adapter, which actually sat probably this low before I could put a shade on it which would make this whole thing about two to three inches lower, which I don't think it would have looked right. I think right now it's pretty much perfect for the height or how low it is, I should say. But everything turned out really nice. Um, it was really quick and easy to put together once we decided on the design. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the color, the design in general. If you would have put shades or changed the bulbs, um, one other thing is the dimmer. You need a dimmer for these because if you just put them on your light switch, it gets really bright. I mean, you have eight lights there. So make sure you have these lights on a dimmer if you're going to do one of these. And other than that, I guess I'll see y'all on the next one.